Hey guys, I'm Adam. I'm a big guy who's trying to make some better changes for his life and one by one I'm adding small things to change the way that I live and try to become a more healthy person. I wanted to show you guys this. Uh, this is the three categories of change in my very simple understanding. You have your mindset, what you do physically, your physical activity, and then your nutrition, what you eat and drink. And what I've been doing is I've been rotating in between these three categories. Last week was a mindset week. We went ahead and said uh, no eating an hour before bedtime. And that I would like to say, uh, let me make sure I can get back to my face here. There we go. I I'm happy to say that that was successful. This week I was successful in my challenge of not eating uh, an hour before bed. Some nights I had to stay up a little bit longer <laughs> because I ate like 40 minutes before bed or something and I had to stay up a little bit longer. So maybe I cheated. I don't know. But the point is I'm doing my best to not eat anything. And the reason I was not eating anything and I am not eating anything an hour before bed is because that is the time that I would generally go for those snacky foods or those sweet foods and those had a lot of calories at the end of the day. Now this week, if you notice on the thumbnail, is a physical activity week. And this week I'm going to increase my cardio to 12 minutes per day. I have been doing 10 minutes per day for, gosh, I guess like nine weeks now. And it's been going well. I alternate between walking and riding a stationary bike in the house, just depending on how I feel that day. And I feel like I'm building a lot of the stabilizer muscles that I was never using before. I'm starting to, my heart is starting to get used to that extra activity. I know it's just a small amount of time, but for me, it was a big change to go from no activity to 10 minutes a day. But my ultimate goal is to do 30 minutes a day. And so I'm going to start increasing it once again, a very small amount. The whole point is for me to feel like it is such a small change that it is insignificant in its effect on my day. If I was to, let's say, add another 10 minutes, all of a sudden I'm doing cardio for twice as long as I was before, it would feel like I have to cram that into my day somewhere where it wasn't already uh, easy to do, where I wasn't already doing it. Two extra minutes, two extra minutes is nothing. And if uh, you guys remember when we talked about cardio in the first place, we looked at this screen right here. It used to say 10 minutes of cardio per day. The warm up and cool down was the same of two minutes, but the cardio in the middle was only six minutes. So when I'm adding two minutes, what I'm actually doing is I'm increasing that key middle time by two minutes. I don't think that even when I'm doing 30 minutes, I don't think I'm going to need more than two minutes of a warm up and two minutes of a cool down. And so as we continue to add time to the cardio, we're going to be adding it here in this middle area, which is going to mean the, the high heart rate period of time that I am having for my cardio is going to be increasing. So this two minutes you could say is going right to the bottom line and going to help my cardio that much more. So I am looking forward to that. I started today, it went well. Two minutes didn't really feel like a significant change from the 10 minutes that I have been doing. So that's good. Next week is going to be a nutrition week. And uh, I need that because my calories, you guys may have noticed, probably not. But if you're keeping track, looking at the thumbnails, my average calories per day has been going up. I have not been exceeding my calorie maximum, which is 4,500 but my average calories per day has been going up from like 34 to 35 to 36. This week it's 37, 62. And that is because I'm getting to the end of the day and I'm saying, hmm, I feel like something more. How many calories do I have left in my budget? So what I need to do is I need to lower my maximum calorie budget. And that's what I'm gonna be probably doing next week, we'll see but I need to get it down eventually to 3000 calories is my goal. I'm a big guy, so I know that um, 2000 is what I've heard, but I'm gonna stick with 3000 for now. I believe that I can lose a lot of weight on 3000 calories, but that's weeks from now before I get there. Remember, small steps make it feel like it's not a big deal, 
and it's all about the long-term change. It's not about losing a bunch of weight in two weeks. It's not anything about that. It's about eventually becoming a more healthy and active person. And I'm already doing it. I'm already doing it. I'm excited. I'm having fun and I'm making progress. And thank you guys for coming along on this journey with me. And I'll see you guys next week.